I paid this AI tool $9.90 to assess and correct my resume. So if you do want to see the result or you want to learn how to do it, keep following this video. You are going to learn so much from this video. So hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to VP Detail channel. And in this video, as I said, we will use resumecheck.net AI tool, which is GPT based tool, which can assess, correct and provide recommendation to your resume. So you are going to learn so much from this video. If you want your resume to stand out among others, then do watch this. You are going to love this, what I am going to show in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red button. It will boost our morale to post more and more videos like this. So let's get started. So what you need to do is go to the link in the description box, which is resumecheck.net. This is an AI tool which you can use to build your own resume. So it says uh, get recruited, correct your resume with GPT-3 AI checks. So it's pretty straightforward as you can see. So CVs must be in PDF format uh, with maximum file size of 20 MB. So this is the limitation of your prerequisite. You need to upload that into this system. So you can just upload your resume. I have a sample resume. So let me show you the sample resume I have. I've just downloaded from the internet. So this is from the John W. Smith and these are the content of the resume. They have a career, adult care experience, child care experience, employment history, and there is an education history also. So this is just the normal resume as you can see. And here is when after you upload it, start uploading it and then start analyzing your resume and then we'll provide you the basic recommendation. So let me show you the resume which I have downloaded. If you want to download this resume, you can also find the link in the description box to just play around with it. But if you upload your own, it will be very beneficial for you. So let me tell you, it, it is not completely free software. It has a paid add-on, which is $9.90. So in this video, I'm going to pay that much amount to see if it's actually worth your money or not to give you an complete overview or review as you can see. So here it says uh, analyzing your resume is done and all done and click to see your results. So this will be the result page and there is a free resume assessment and it has general recommendation, post experience changes you need uh, to make and personal skills changes, grammar corrections and there is structure changes. So it has a table of content as you can see the summary. So summary is this. So you can just copy and paste that into your resume but it is not recommended after we see the recommendation which have listed here and it has general recommendation personality uh, check corrections these are the content you need to improve on so these are here the general uh, recommendation settings general recommendation we have to pay for each and every recommendations so as you can see the action is column is here so let me just go ahead and pay for it just get the full report here okay so i have paid it it says your credit card successfully charged so okay and it start analyzing your paid resume so obviously there is a, will be a difference between the free and the paid free version doesn't have anything so i suggest them to actually provide some recommendation even one or two recommendation for free such that people can analyze that and you can log the later features but let it be so i'm paying this to show you the result which you will see here so you will be the judge if you want to buy it or not so see it says the all done click to see the results okay so everything is done so here is the summary summary uh, is highly forceful with uh, this 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 so this is the summary so add summary to your resume it's just saying that and three words about you it's nothing here okay so here is the general recommendation so general recommendation is begin the resume with a professional summary that outlines your qualification and achievement in the childhood development okay so these are the summaries that you have to apply it on your resume and here is first it says begin the resume with a professional summary that outlines your qualification and achievement in early childhood development special need and adult care okay so our resume was this so as you can see first we have a career summary right and it says uh, in the childhood development we have a career summary and it says that outlines your this and this so these are the general recommendation as you can see you can just point out to the 19 try to resume to one page if possible okay you don't need to uh, add multiple pages to your resume so these are some steps that you can actually apply that or you can say it's a checklist for having a good or resume that can stand out so general recommendation is everything about 
but you need to apply that on your resume to make it stand out as you can see it's first it started with the summary then the employment history and then uh, clear concise language to describe your experience so these are some of recommendation that you need to apply that on your resume and the next thing is recommendation for past experience so we have done the summary part or i would say the general recommendation part and next we have our adult care experience childhood experience history right and here is the recommendation for the past experience first was the general summary and now it's for the past experience it says to revise wording to provide more detail on adult care experience let me just open my here as you can see here is the experience this is the past experience which we already have so adult care experience we have determined cares for this this so these are the four bullet points that john w smith has so recommendation is saying revised wording to provide more detail on adult care experience so we have to provide more more detail to the adult care experience so you need to add a more detail to the points that which you have already added it so what i can do is obviously it's not giving us uh, the complete revamped version of the resume but you can use chat gpt to actually optimize your resume with the bullet point that resume check gives for example just copy this whatever whatever it's saying is okay and go to chat gpt so let's open the new chat okay so it's open so let's just type this command revise wording to provide more detail on experience and now what i we are going to do is so let me just copy these experiences here yeah, for my resume let's see what it gives so we have asked chat gpt what it actually written in the resume checker like here revise wording to provide more details on this so let's see if it can actually revise that so it has already started successfully placed uh, 150 this and conducted regular so what it does is it providing more details to the bullet points first it was determined work placement for 150 special needs adult clients and what it has transformed into is successfully placed 150 special needs adults in the suitable care facilities and provided support to ensure their well-being so you can find the difference that it actually meant right and the next was maintain client database in your record and here you can see is conduct regular updates of client information in organized database to ensure accuracy and easy accessibility so you are realizing right now how important it is to actually revise wording to provide more details so you can here is the pro tip so you can use resume checker to just audit your resume and then use these bullet points with your data on resume and use that like i have used in the chat gpt such that it will modify or transform your resume to stand out with all the others your employer may have so that's how you can easily improve your resume using this particular tool which outlines or audit your resume and if you don't know how to add or more words to your resume then you can use chat gpt to actually create that for you so you can see the power of the two right so you should go on and on with the past experience there are multiple here obviously we are not going to explore that in this video it will be it will be a long duration so i'm just skipping that so we have done the general part okay and recommendation of past experience i have told you how to use that a uh, command or uh, tips that resume ch checker gives and provide to the real life transformation with the help of chat gpt so that's about it and there is the recommendation to grammar so obviously there are some points that are there or grammatical mistake you may have on your resume so you have to just find these bullet points or a checklist and change that to your resume and edit your word with this 28 points to correct your grammar so there is a recommendation for grammar just analyze that and start adding it so i think it actually makes your cv even better and there is recommendation for personal skills let me go to the let me go to my resume again so there is a adult care experience we have already done with the past experience and now we have a employment history and now we have a education 
now it is recommendation for the personal skills so it says you don't have any personal skills added to your resume obviously the employer should know of of your personal activities or the activities you are indulging in right now to assess your personality so for that part you need to add the recommendation for the personal skills and this is the skills that they have suggested so if you don't know about it or don't want to add something and just add it and click just copy and add it to your resume so there is a recommendation structure for the whole structure there is a recommendation it says start by optimizing the resume for keywords searches okay include relevant keywords such as early childhood development special needs client care in resume to increase the chances of being found by the employers so obviously what it means is if you upload your resume to the internet to any platform like linkedin or something all those algorithms actually use and analyze or audit or scrape those documents and it will be better for them to rank on such pages so to rank on those algorithms or even on the google you need to add such keywords to your resume to rank or stand out among other applicants so here is the recommendation structure you have to go one by one to see what it actually say to improve so there are many so obviously i'm not going to go one by one there so what i'm going to do is obviously if you want to analyze that by your yourself so i will be providing this demo resume and providing this outcome as in pdf format so you will find the link in the description which will be redirected to our website and there you should start analyzing it review it for yourself see if it actually fits your budget or even fits your criteria or niche then you can start buying it so we have done the overview part we have done the past experience part we have done the personal skills and now we have done the structure how to improve your cv structure now we are moving forward to the new section so it says some new section should be added to your resume and for that part here is the professional development obviously and you need to complete a six week intensive training on this so you have to provide the professional development obviously if you are into some company or into some organization you are working right now or if you have worked previously you must have developed yourself right if you didn't develop yourself you have to leave that company right away but if you already did you have to develop provide those bullet points or those steps which you had developed your career wise or development your profession then you have to add that into your resume like here in the new section so it will help the employer to see what you have learned in the previous organization and what you are going to bring to their organization so you have to add that into your resume so this is everything so if you want to analyze it to yourself obviously i haven't provided each and every details about it but i give you the overview how resume check works and how it can benefit your resume if you want to download this particular recommendation or the sample resume and the audit which we have done you can find the link in the description box and there you sh should start analyzing it with your resume so you don't need to pay 9.90 dollar but if you want to pay that go ahead pay that and see yourself or audit your resume and make it stand out with the help of the steps we have covered in this video so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to subscribe to this channel to watch more videos like this you have a red button with you if you have some questions in mind about this particular video or a subject then you can have a comment box with you but if you want to share this to your colleague friends to benefit their professional life then you have a share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye